Hey there, Miles here, milesbecker.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to submit your URL to Google. Google recently changed the interface, so this is an updated video that'll show how to submit your URL to Google within the new Google Webmaster Tools or Search Console interface. And then I'm gonna show you how to automate the process. So we'll show you how to add one URL, but then I'll show you how to automate it so you could ignore it, go back to publishing, and know that it's gonna get updated every single day. So let's jump on the computer and do a little bit of work. So the first thing you need to do is set up a Google's Search Console account. If you don't have one, you can go to google.com forward slash webmasters. It'll take you to this page. You just click on the green Search Console button, and then it's gonna ask you to kind of just set up your first account. This is the inside of Google Search Console. And if you need to add a new URL to your Search Console, you simply click the drop down on the top. Down here at the bottom, it says Add Property, and you add the actual property. Now, one big key you need to make sure if your site loads as HTTPS, you got to include the S. If your site loads with a www, you got to include the www. So when you fill this out, I recommend loading your website in another browser and taking the actual URL. Um, this is my blog rule. You would take the homepage uh, URL and put the homepage URL there. But it's most important, do you have the www and do you have the HTTPS? I'm not going to add that because I already have mine added. And here we go. I'm going to show you how to submit your URL. Now, when you would use this is if you publish a brand new blog post and you want to make sure and send the Google search engine spiders to the new blog post, you simply paste that URL up top here and you click enter. And what it does is it's going to go retrieve from the index. Then the other time you would use this tool is if you went back to an old blog post and you really added a lot of great content to an older blog post. You went in and you did a nice big update to it and you wanna make sure Google indexes the new version. This is the exact tool that you would use. Now you can see that this URL is in Google. I have the green check mark, which means Google has already indexed and has already found the URL. So I don't need to submit this URL and I'm gonna show you how to get that automated in a second but if yours does not say that the URL is in Google you click this down here on the right where it says request indexing simply request the indexing and what that'll do is it'll ping Google's search engine spiders which are the little robots that go read every page and follow every link online they will go to your URL and they will index it so when do you use this if Google has not found your URL yet that's one time you would use it also, you want to use it if you've just done a major update to an old post. Be sure you republish that post with today's date before you set this re-indexing up and then send the search engine spiders over. And that's it. It's super simple in the new interface. You just put your URL up top. But now I'm going to show you how to automate the process because you don't need to go update Google every single time you add a post or a page. Your sitemap can do that for you. So I'm using on my WordPress site a tool called Yoast for SEO. And under the advanced tab in Yoast, it allows me to create a sitemap. Then what you do here in Google site or excuse me, Google Search Console, you click on the sitemaps tab on the left, and then you simply submit the sitemap URL here. You can see that mine has already been submit. It's a successful submission. It's discovered 1,100 URLs from my website. You just paste the actual sitemap.xml if that's the file output you get, click submit, and every time you publish a new post on your website, it will get added to your sitemap automatically and then Google simply sends its search engine spiders to your sitemap every single day. They look for anything new and they'll go index it for you automatically. They'll go crawl that URL for you automatically. It's great to build this up with automation. You don't really need to be logging in there every day. You don't want to keep submitting your URLs. It's best if you set it up the, where the feed from your sitemap actually does the work for you. I do have another video that I'll have pop up above my head, a link above, and it is how to guarantee that Google is indexing your website. It goes a little farther, a little down, farther down the rabbit hole on the sitemap kind of tool, and it shows you exactly how to get that all set up. But I hope you have found this video to be helpful. I hope you've been able to get your URL submit to Google, and I thank you very much for your time. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like these kinds of tutorials, be sure to subscribe so you can get the new videos as they come out, and 
I'll catch you in the comments. Until I see you on the next video, be well.